Well hello there and welcome to issue number 84 and this issue is all about the Libra Monkey and as you can see on the uh, caption for the video those are all the dates you have to be to fall into this uh, Western and Eastern Zodiac combination so if there's anything you're not sure about just uh, post me a message or uh, let's say email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible ok where did we start with uh, the Libra monkey. We'll start when they're a child. So what you've got, you've got the monkey as we spoke about, who is, uh, you know, is normally a very, is a, is a life wire, and um, they like to be involved in the, you know, the latest stuff. Um, has loads of friends. Um, can talk on many different levels. Um, don't discriminate. So they tend to have, as I say, all walks of life as friends, and also. Um, they can cut corners a little, but this is just because they know so many people that they tend to get the job done rather than doing it, you know, um, should we say in the PC or totally um, correct way, but they get the job done and they're very, very efficient at this. So what we've got a couple with this is the Libra and Charm and the balance. So we've got somebody who's even more popular with people. You know, again, very charming. Um, a great conversationalist um, and again talking on many different levels I mean if they're not you know necessarily religious they can talk about religion they're not offended by it um, or they you know they don't get offended by stuff they can talk on many different things and that's what makes them so popular they're very very popular and as the children start school you'll notice this um, they have been so interesting from a very young age they come home with all sorts of questions um, and they do like to skim on so many different subjects you know they could be pretty decent at all of them because you know okay maybe not an expert in one but they skim the top of everyone and get enough knowledge um, which kick starts them and as I say they're very popular to be forever taken into parties etc you know and they have a really strong bond of uh, friendships going all the way through the networks and these are last all the way through you know you're talking they go into um, the secondary school or you know or the colleges doesn't matter if they move away which is very possible for the monkey um, and especially the Libran um, they don't get over sentimental where they where they were brought up or anything like that if it, they know it's going to further them they will move on but they won't lose sight of who their friends were they will keep in touch they will um, have you know such a broad array that they'll never be short of having invites for maybe exotic holidays etc like that you know um, very wed many weddings abroad you know there'll be constant invites so the person who gets with them is going to have to be quite fast moving as well even though the Libra can like some tranquility sometimes um, which is true they do like a little bit of um, their time a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of solace where they could just sit down and unwind and, and just sort of veg out or chill out for a bit, you know, and the monkey does need to recharge its batteries, um, and the Libra can do that, it can really help this combination by saying, well hold on a minute, you've been, you know, you've been up to your neck in it, you've been studying X amount, or, you know, they're starting their new job, they always want to make an impression, they're excellent workers, but sometimes, you know, the Libra's excellent there for saying, well hold on a minute, you know, I'll check back a bit, uh, I need a bit of me time and they do that and they can have recreation, they can have fun they're not over competitive so um, I, I'm not saying it would be sports or anything like that but they can have fun you know they'll be going cinemas um, bowling, they love that sort of thing you know just with a the group their group, their bond of uh, you know uh, of, of, of friends you know they can go out in massive groups so their um, partner to be is going to have to be somebody who's going to be you know, very good socially, um, you know, they're going to need to be on the ball socially and also not fighting with crowds, you know, not, not getting a bit uh, in their shell, they can't really be afford to be like that because there have been many situations where they've been meeting different people left, right and centre and they're going to have to be sort of like, you know, keeping it together. Some signs um, aren't as good a mix as others, as we know, uh, some combinations. So it's going to be a bit of a whirlwind for anybody who wants to get together with this combination. Uh, as we know, the Libra Monkey, it would not be a um, 
It would not be a combination that would put down as being uh, particularly dangerous um, in their activities or even sort of, uh, you know, they're not sleep around whatsoever, the male or female. Um, they don't get, you know, they don't get off on that. It's not a thing that um, really sort of zones them in. It just doesn't really zone them in into a relationship. It's, it's going to have to start with friendships and this, and this is something that we'll build. You know, they're not going to be promiscuous by any stretch. Um, quite cool, quite cool natured really. Even though the Libran is known to sort of like, um, you know, enjoy their sexual activity. Um, it will be chilled back a bit, very much so with the monkey, because the monkey is mental first and then physical second in the sense of relationships. So, you know, it's going to have to be, you know, a little bit slowly, slowly catching monkey, as shall we say. Uh, you're going to have to, you know, enjoy their friends. Um, as I say, they're not going to be sentimental, so it's not a massive responsibility for you to get on with the family even. But what they call their family, like the very close-knit friends and the people that they work with who they admire, and, and, and things like that, working situations, you're going to have to get on with the lot. So that's going to take some certain character. The sort of jobs that the um, legal monkey, well, they could take anything really. Um, a construction worker, they would make a very, very good manager because there's, as I say, there isn't any prejudice about the monkey. Um, you know, they don't really particularly care about your background, if you come from a wealthy background or whether you come from a, you know, a humble background, they want to get an equal start with the monkey, that is for sure, because um, they just want to see the activity, they just want to see the work going on, as long as you do your work for them, they'll be absolutely fine with you, they won't, they won't uh, absolutely, you know, cause any ripples in the waves at all, so it'd it just be plain sailing, as long as you knuckle down, um, you'll find them very interesting to talk to as well. So they do make very, very good bosses. But I like to see them in the construction work because there's a nice balance to that. They're, everything's on a timing scale. They know exactly when the electricians, the plumbers, like that. You know, that's right up their street. Um, that nice organisation. They know the top people in them trades, so they make very good at that. They could be excellent car salespeople, um, for instance, insurance sales, things like that, where you know, they're talking on a level where, you know, they'll be working for the better firms, they'll be selling the products or the better car, and, you know, and, and, they, and, they, and they do it with ease because they break down the barriers, they talk about things that you need, um, they talk about uh, many different things, as I say, so they could even find somebody who's real hard to talk to and a hard nut to crack, the monkey will find something to talk about, and especially the Libra as well in the mix, so, you know, they're a fantastic that. So what sort of combination would suit the monkey Libra? Bearing in mind we've got quite a cool character sexually, but we've got somebody who's very gregarious and they and they, and they, and they love to be doing stuff and they love to be out there talking, chatting with their with their people. So let's stick with uh, the rats. The rats for the monkey. Now the rats, okay, they love security. That's you know, let's let's, let's not make no bones about that. So probably don't see it like the monkey does in that sense, but the monkey might, won't mind because the rat holds themselves very well in social situations. Again, very intelligent, so there's lots to talk about. Um, you know, they won't try and outshine their monkey, so they let them crack on with that sort of veneer and showing what they're all about. And the rat will sit there very, very loyally, um, you know, smiling when they have to, um, but ultimately, their goal is in the home, their goal is having that security, um, they don't mind a bit of travelling the rats, but ultimately they like to say, right, I've, I've set up my home and you've got a loyal customer here, so this could be a very, very loyal union, and the monkey may be doing it a bit more outside the home, but hey, the rats, the rats are okay with this, they're absolutely fine with this, the rats can earn their own money in their own way, so it's a very, very solid combination. So let's go for the Sagittarian rat, the Aquarian rat, the Gemini rat, and the Leo rat. All very solid for the Libra monkey. Also, if we want to turn it on its, uh, around the axis a little bit, let's go for the dragons. We, we've got somebody who's equally um, wanting of, of, of mixing, of, 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 of being involved in big 
dinner places, big dinner parties um, with the crowds being admired. Just like the monkey, they look fantastic together. They're very eye-catching. Um, and when they look at each other, you can say, you can see that, wow, they look a serious partnership. This looks a strong partnership. And, and, and you'll be very, very right there. The monkey will take a slight back step for the dragon because, you know, that's the way it works, but it's only slight. The dragon will share the limelight a bit and the dragon will not mind the way monkey gets things done because, hey, that's how the dragon sees things as well. They think first and foremost, we need to get things done. Um, if we have to cut a little bit here, there and everywhere, then so be it. Then they're okay with that. They're absolutely fine with that. And they're very good at getting hold of cash. So, you know, the words are oyster. The dragon likes to travel uh, very much so. So this, that could be a bit more of a traveling couple, traveling couple you know. Um, you know, wherever the work is, they will follow it round. They're not afraid to build a bigger company or if they've got their money to go off and shut themselves off or say I want a year away in the country somewhere or, want, or a completely different lifestyle. Those two, they can do it together and they're very, very strong together. So, let's look again at the Sagittarius Dragon, the Aquarius Dragon, the Gemini Dragon and the Leo Dragon. Wonderful, wonderful matches. Who do we avoid with the monkeys? Well, like uh, likewise with all the others, especially the Libra monkeys, no exception is the tigers. The tigers, as we know, okay, there's travelling in tigers, but there is a standard that the tigers like to keep. There's an image they like to keep of complete justice. Okay, the monkey's not prejudiced, we're not saying that, but what we're saying is when the monkey gets something done and it seems a little bit underhand to the tiger, the fallout big time, there's going to be massive arguments and it really, really isn't worth the hassle for these two because they spend all their time um, rowing and um, picking holes in each other and they will just basically upset each other. So it's not wise. It's not wise in a business sense or in a, in a relationship sense whatsoever. Um, and also the tiger, okay, the monkey being a little bit lighter on the sexuality, uh, that would not really go too brilliant with the tiger because the tiger doesn't mind having the patience in that scenario but you know they feel as though they're being kidded along a bit and it will end up in a lot of hassle okay to all my Libra monkeys out there i wish you all the best and please tune in for my next issue thank you bye